Hey guys, Robert with 3D Printscape. So I've been using the Sonic Pad and the Pad 7 for a couple of months now and wanted to give you my thoughts between the two if you're looking to get a device like this that's running Clipper to get faster prints or just be able to have better remote connectivity. In this video, I'm gonna cover the hardware specs, uh, just my general thoughts on it, uh, the initial setup process, which one is easier, printer compatibility, adding additional printers and things like that. Then I'm gonna give you my final recommendation at the end. This video is probably gonna be a lot shorter than some of my more recent ones, uh, mainly because I have other videos covering everything I'm talking about here in more depth. Uh, so this is more of just a recap, giving you uh, the comparison between the two and my recommendation. So if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. For the hardware specs, I figured it made sense to bring up the parameters from Big Tree Tech and Creality's website. For the most part, they are pretty similar as far as the screens go. I think the Big Tree Tech is a little bit brighter, uh, but they both have a 7 inch screen, uh, same resolution. They're both touch screen. So I don't think the screen is really going to make a huge difference if you're trying to decide which one to buy, uh, because they both are pretty close. I think at the end of the day you might be looking more at the actual board that's in there and the number of USB slots. So the Creality board comes with uh, 2 gig of RAM, uh, has Wi-Fi, they both have Wi-Fi, and is a little bit more powerful overall uh, stock. Uh, the Big Tree Tech board has the CB1, so it's a standard open source type board, and it gives you everything you need if you wanted to switch that board out. So it only has 1 gig of memory versus the uh, 2 gig over on the Creality side, uh, but everything is more open source and you can switch it out if you need more power but I haven't had any issues um, running the CB1 board controlling multiple printers with Clipper uh, so I think both of them are fine hardware wise unless you start to look at some of the other things and you want to use it differently for example if you wanted to do more with the pad 7 then just uh, use it as a Clipper screen you can just either use the default card or get a different card, put a different OS on it, and it's got speakers, other buttons, and everything like that that you can use and really treat it like a functional computer. And in that case, you might want a more powerful board, uh, but if you're just using it with Clipper, the one they have with it's fine, but it's interesting and kind of cool that they give you the option. Um, one other point here is the Creality Sonic Pad has four USB ports. Uh, the Pad 7 has three. I mean, you can add a USB hub and get more ports if you really wanted to, uh, but I've never really been controlling more than three printers at a time, so I, I don't think that that's a big deal either way. Um, the Pad 7 does have an accelerometer as well, but honestly, at the end of the day, I think they're both pretty equivalent as far as specs go. Uh, the differences aren't going to make any real functional difference when it comes to using this for uh, Clipper. All right, now that we've gone over the specs, let's look at the actual device itself. As you can see, even though they both have the same 7-inch screen, the Creality Pad is larger than the Pad 7. I think it's just a design choice, though. It has a larger bezel, uh, but overall, both screens are pretty nice. And um, one thing I did want to make a note of, which you wouldn't really think of, um, but the power cable on the Creality is longer probably by about a foot than the one for the pad 7 and that was actually an issue for me at one point in time just something it's not a big deal just get an extension cord or something but i uh, just thought i'd point that out all right guys one other thing i wanted to show you as far as the hardware goes is on the back of the pad 7 you've got this heat sink that's removable and behind there is the cb1 board you can actually swap that out with more powerful boards if you need to all you get really got to do is move a couple screws and they provide everything you need to put the new board in, including the adhesion to remount the heatsink. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, now for responsiveness, I kind of wanted to show these side by side. So if I go into uh, menu or setup here, um, they both respond pretty quickly, but I feel in general, the Pad 7 is a bit quicker to respond. So just going in here and like, browsing through the settings and stuff, it picks up my movement much easier and it just seems to be a little bit uh, easier to control or just quicker on the response. That said, uh, the Creality Pad isn't bad. It's still perfectly functional. Uh, I just think that the Pad 7 just a little bit quicker. For printer compatibility, the Sonic Pad has uh, quite a bit of limitations. It's restricted to just the printers they have set up. So if you go into add printer, um, select whichever USB, and then you would 
uh, select whatever printer you have, but you're restricted to Creality printers and the ones they specifically support on the Sonic Pad. Uh, so if you don't have one of those printers, the Sonic Pad's not going to work for you. Um, that's also true if you're running to run multiple types of printers with a single device. Uh, Big Tree Tech kind of solves that by just using a standard version of Clipper. Uh, it does take a little bit more work to get everything set up. Uh, but you have the full support of all the printers that are in the uh, Clipper GitHub repo, which is quite a bit. Uh, I think most of the printers I've looked for are on there. There are some newer ones that might not have the latest configs on them. Uh, so you might have to modify that a little bit to get it to work. Uh, but I haven't really had any issues with compatibility with the Pad 7 or just Clipper in general. All right, guys, let's talk about the initial setup. I have videos covering that for both of these devices, um, but overall the Creality one is much easier assuming you have a Creality printer. All you gotta do is really power it on, connect it to your printer, and walk through the setup guide on the screen. Uh, with Big Tree Tech Pad 7 or just Clipper in general, I don't wanna just say with Big Tree Tech because it's a Clipper thing, not a Big Tree Tech thing, um, you have to actually go through and set up Clipper with that printer, so there is much more to it. Um, if you've worked with Clipper, it's not difficult, but if you're used to just working with Marlin or Creality type firmware, it can be a bit overwhelming at first, but like I said, I do have videos covering that process. I cover everything start to finish, so it's not difficult. It's just not streamlined like the Creality one is. When it comes to adding multiple printers to the device, uh, just like the other sections, the Sonic Pad or Creality has kind of streamlined that process. You just go into the menu, hit new printer, select the printer, and walk through the guide on the screen. Uh, it takes care of everything on the back end for you. Uh, with uh, the Clipper Pad or the Pad 7 here, um, you have to do a lot more. You actually have to set up the number of instances, reset up the web interface, so you have to connect to it through PuTTY and set all that up. It's not difficult, but it can be a bit much if you're not familiar with connecting to devices remotely and that kind of thing. Uh, so for this section, I think Creality has a nice edge assuming you have a Creality printer. Now, if you're wanting to run uh, multiple printer brands uh, all together off a single device, you're restricted to uh, something like the Pad 7 that's running an open source version of Clipper. So those are the details that I thought were worth covering here. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have covered a lot of these in more detail in other videos. Uh, but for this video specifically, I'm gearing it towards somebody who's looking at purchasing one or the other. And I want to give my recommendation based on what they're looking to do and make sure they have the information they need. But let's jump over to my recommendations. Uh, if you have Creality printers and you're kind of sticking with that brand and you don't mind closed source ecosystems, or you're not looking to use a device that will work with multiple printers, uh, I would recommend going with this Sonic Pad. It's nice, it's easy to use, and it works with those printers. But if you're looking to actually learn Clipper or use printers other than the Creality branded ones, uh, I think that overall the Big Tree Tech Pad 7 is a better overall device. Uh, the open source ecosystem and just the compatibility with other boards and everything else that it offers, uh, I just think it's a better overall choice for somebody who's willing to learn. Uh, if you just want something that's gonna be plug and play and you're using the Creality printers, um, then, like I said, the Sonic Pad is going to be your option, but if you want to dive into things a little bit more, I do think the Pad 7 is a better overall offering and for a lower price. But both products are good, and I think whichever one you go with, you'll be happy with it. Uh, just think about the closed source ecosystem and what printers you're wanting to use with it, because uh, I think that's going to be a major deciding factor for a lot of people, and then whether or not you're willing to learn Clipper and actually be able to set devices up start to finish. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord.